Yeah, okay, so we recently celebrated the 50 year anniversary of Apollo 11. Now with it came a lot of memories, excitement of future space travel, and respect for what we can do when we put our minds to something specific. Now where do we go from here? Well to start, we need to make sure kids of all backgrounds and interests have access to the infinity and beyond. I am part of a company that's called Dreambox Learning. And Dreambox is an adaptive math technology that was pioneered right here in Bellevue that helps young kids learn mathematics. It's a personalized learning platform cool. that actually monitors how kids are thinking and how they're solving problems to make sure they get the exact lesson that they need to optimally learn. What did you think about experiencing reflecting on the 50 year anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission. So I thought about a couple things. First thing I thought about was that picture of the control center oh, yes. when there were all these professionals who had labored for weeks, maybe years to achieve this feat and the sense of collective American pride and accomplishment that something was done that heretofore was not even envisioned. Like it was radical. Right. And then I thought, where are the women? Where are the people of color in this picture? You're thinking that now when you look at this photo. Think about now, but even as a child as a growing child, you thought about up. That? Well, in other instances, you always look for right? you, you, yourself. Yep. And absence matters. And so fast forward a few years ago, I saw hidden figures. And I'm like, these women were a part of that success. I don't remember I don't remember reading about that in history. I don't remember learning about that in school. Why is that? So what I think about now, 50 years later, is a couple things. One, we have to make sure that we celebrate and reveal hidden figures so that kids know that they belong everywhere. The second thing is we have to make sure that access to opportunity is there for more kids to study STEM and math, we believe at Dreambox is a really important part of that. And then the third thing is to help them understand meaning. Like, why is STEM interesting? Why is it important? Help them understand the connection to how they want to live their lives. So help understand the relevance between STEM and what kids are naturally interested in. Just because you're interested in art doesn't mean that STEM is irrelevant. Our world is increasingly technology driven and globalized, information driven. It's a life skill now to have better access to STEM. You looked at that photo from 50 years ago, yeah. and you asked yourself, where am I in this photo? What do you hope to see in the next photo? I hope to see a lot more women. I hope to see a lot more people of color. And I hope to see a lot of joy for individual and team accomplishment. And I think sometimes we are so focused on doing well for ourselves, but what can we do with that opportunity, privilege, and wealth to make sure that more opportunity can be extended to others that might not have it. At the end of the day, we have to make sure that transformational technologies like Dreambox Learning that are proven to be effective don't only benefit the privileged. It's yeah. really, really important.